say in Ladakh to greet people? Jule. So, Jule. Yes. Jule children. Jule teachers. Jule the management of this wonderful school. Very colorful, very beautiful, and most above all, very energetic children. So, Jule again. <clears throat> I'm here on a very, very short visit this time. And I didn't know that I'll be addressing younger children. And I hope to come with the better stories that might uh, relate to you better next time. But this time, I'll just a little bit of interaction and a little bit of sharing few thoughts with you. So tell me. How many of you like or dislike some subjects in your school, OK? Let us, no, 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 not yet. I haven't asked. Let's start with, say, maths. Those of who, you who like maths, raise your hands. Oh, that doesn't look realistic. OK, those of who you who don't like maths, don't like maths. Fine, it's fine to not like maths. There's nothing sacred about mathematics. Wonderful, some of us don't like maths. Good, I'm surprised more hands here. Are they more honest or are they really in trouble with maths? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, good, lot of people liking maths here. How many of you like uh, Science. <laughs> um, how many of you don't like science? Don't like science. It's all right to not like science. Nobody will get offended. OK. How many of you don't like English? Don't like English. OK, don't like English. And how many like English? How many are so-so, neither like nor dislike? OK, it's OK. OK, good. Now, uh, let's ask about, do you, do you study Oriya? How many of you like Oriya? OK. How many of you are not interested in Oriya? OK. A lot of hands, too. And how many of you are so-so? OK. 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 And now, social studies. Social studies. <laughs> like. Like, I suppose. OK. And don't like. <laughs> Good, good, good. Social studies is the most uh, discussed topic, yeah? There are strong lovers, strong dislikers. Great, great. So these are some of the subjects you study, and maybe you have sports then. Sports, how many of you like, love sports? Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you another question. How many of you are not honest? How many of you are not honest? <laughs> How many of you are honest? How many of you are not honest about this answer? I'm not sure so many people love everything. If you do, you're amazing. You're amazing. But you know, except for the last one, most of these subjects had to do with only head, our head. Physics, maths, social studies, English, all to do with our head. 
brain. Yeah? Very good. Very good. We should be very sharp in our brains. Very sharp. Very good. But there is more to us than just a head. We have much more to us than just a head. Right? Unfortunately, education generally, generally addresses too much of the head and limits itself to the head. Head mathematics, head physics, head chemistry, head biology, head mathematics. Doesn't apply it in life and to apply things in life you need not just a head but hands, right? So skilled hands is as much important as bright head. And that's where I say the second H is very important. Generally, generally, schools and education only talk about head and that they define as the three R's, three R's reading, writing, and some arithmetic. Reading, writing, and arithmetic, little bit of science, all very fine, all very fine, but doesn't take us far in life. Because we can be very bright in our head, and that's where we remain. We are, we are handicapped when it comes to real life. That's what most schools are producing today children who are handicapped, handicapped, head very bright, handicapped, which is very sad. And I'm happy to see that you in this school try to apply things in labs in reality, but that's not what most children get to do. Children should be able to get a complete form of education. Very good to have a bright head with all the information, all the knowledge about things, but it's useless if you can't use it. Useless if you can't use it. And to use things, you need hands, skills of the hands. So therefore, you should be able to use the physics that you learned in real life to make life easier for people. If it is about cooling and heating that you learn in your physics, then you better make somebody's home cooler in hot Orissa or warmer in cold Ladakh. Then your physics is of some use. If you can use evaporation, for example, to keep the milk cool in your home, even if you don't have a refrigerator using evaporative cooling, then you have used your physics. Same with mathematics, same with the other subjects. With the civics that you learn, governance, you know, administration, if you can manage your school or if you can partner in the management of school yourself and form little bodies of governance where you elect the leaders and the leaders help in running the school, then you are actually applying the civics or the governance that you are learning. That is what the world needs, application of knowledge. Because knowledge alone does not need to come from schools. You can get all the information from internet today. It's all in a pocket or a palm. What you don't get from mobile phones is application. So tomorrow's schools will be all about application. Tomorrow's successful schools will be all about application. Children will go because they get what they don't get on palm tops and laptops. And therefore, hands is very important. If you have skilled hands, you can change lives of people. But then, bright head, skilled hands, 
are great but not enough. You know, somebody could have a very bright head and very skilled hands and could use it for undesirable bad things. For example, you know pickpockets? Pickpockets? They are very skilled with their hands, very sharp with their head. You will not even know when your purse is gone, when your money is gone. But that's not doing good to anybody. Yeah? So even pickpockets or terrorists have very skilled hands and very bright mind who blow up buildings, kill many people. Skilled hands and bright head is not enough. What then do you need to make it complete? Very good. A good kind heart is what you need to develop. Without a good, kind heart, compassionate heart, the brightness of the head and the skills of the hands could be misused to harm others. But if you develop a kind, compassionate heart, you'll never misuse it. So therefore, what I want to say is, the things you learn in life are not just Maths, science, social studies, English or Oriya. Those are only one part to do with mostly head, theory of things. The other field that we need to develop is our hands, skilled hands. So that whole field is not developed in most educational systems. Some of the most progressive systems take pride in doing things with their hands. But we in India have always thought of education as hands-on. In gurukuls, in ashrams, everything was hands-on. Children used to do things, not just learn things. And we in India have also gone way beyond the rest of the world only can see till skilled hands and they think those schools are great where you have hands also developed. We in India have shown to the world the kindness of heart through practices like yoga and vipassana, we have led the world and it's time rather than following western schools and systems, we lead the world with the third H also included, and therefore, three H's of education. Not just the three R's of reading, writing, and arithmetic, which is what England, I think, devised and passed it on to us, and we lost our way and went back to a smaller thing from what we knew, a more profound wisdom. It's time we come back and expand the definition of an educated person as someone who has developed the three H's and not just limited to the three R's. So therefore, I wish very much that in this school and beyond the school, in your homes, localities, with your friends, you also give importance to skills of the hands, and kindness of the heart. Wherever possible, try to use that principle in physics or biology or chemistry or mathematics or whatever it is, social studies, to change something in your family, in your locality, in your classroom, in your school, and that will require skills of the hands. And to want to do that, you need empathy. Empathy is this feeling of doing something for others, solving somebody else's problems, and that is the kind heart. When you have these, you will not only be good to other people, but you will be very successful also. The best inventors, innovators, entrepreneurs are not the ones who want money and therefore launch a business. They don't go very far. 
you just want money and launch a business you will not go very far but if you want to solve a problem and to solve that problem you offer a business model and everybody wants their problem solved and your business will fly as well but for that you need empathy and empathy comes out of a compassionate heart so both for the inner world and the outside world and today's world and tomorrow's world you need all the three h's of education and i'll end by wishing you all a very holistic very profound development of the whole of your uh, body mind and spirit through this concept i'm very happy that this is a school that already values these uh, concepts and thank you all of you for gathering here giving me a very warm uh, and kind and compassionate welcome i hope to visit you again thank you very much goodbye and julie again julie